Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken an another sum on orthographic projection where we have been given the three dimensional figure and through the direction arrow A we have to draw its front, top and side view. So first we will see the total width that is 102, the total height is 75 and the depth of the figure is 70 millimeters. Calculating this three will give me 70 millimeters. So calculating this will give us the spacing required to draw the figure. Now through arrow A is the front view. This is the side view. So here will be the side view. Here will be the front view and below that will be the top view. So first we will draw the quadrants for drawing these views. So this is horizontal XY. Now this much space is required to draw the front view, the width. So we'll leave that space and according to it we'll draw the vertical line. Then 5 millimeters apart we will draw the axis, the base lines where we will draw the figure. Now starting with the front view, so this part will be drawn as the front view, I'll just mark it. So this rectangular box, the straight lines will be seen in the front view. The slant part will look rectangular shape in the front view. This also slant part will look rectangle shape in the front view and this is the triangular part. It is same on the other side as well. It is symmetrical. So let's start drawing. First we will draw the base. The total distance is 102 millimeters. So we'll draw a dark line of it. Next the height of 13 millimeter. So from here we will draw a straight line of 13 millimeter. Draw it dark. Same goes on the other end as well. So from here also 13 millimeter, and then you have the thickness of 22 millimeters from both the ends. So first we'll complete this rectangle. We'll draw a light line here. As the figure is symmetrical, the same thickness height will be here also so I am drawing it dark. Now the distance here and here we have 22 millimeters it is given. So from this end 22 millimeters I will draw a dark line and same goes over here 22 millimeters dark line. Then you have this two gaps rectangle gaps the distance is 13 millimeters so from here 13 millimeters leave a gap and from here also 13 millimeters leave a gap which leads us to a gap of 32 millimeters at the center the dimension is given so we'll mark this dark so this is the 32 millimeter then we have a height of 75 millimeter this two rectangle standing pillars shape so from the bottom We'll mark a height of 75 millimeter. I'm drawing this light first. Then from bottom, height of 75 millimeter. Mark a point. Then taking this as the reference line, 75 millimeter above, I'll draw a light line. So these two standing pillars are extending at a height of 75 millimeter, so making it dark. And with this line as the reference line, we'll draw dark lines from this point, touching the height of 75, then from this point, and finally from this point. And at the top you can see, we have dark lines. So this is the end. So join this dark and this dark also. Now next you can see this slant part, this rectangle shape will look like a rectangle shape from the front view. This distance is 22 and here the height given is 32 millimeters. So the slant part height is 32 millimeters. So from the front view it will look like a rectangle shape. So from the bottom it is 32 millimeters above. I have marked a point. So here will having a dark line. I am extending a line from here first. 
taking this as the reference parallel line from here just extending a light line upwards now taking this as the reference line from this point I'll draw a dark line from here and here so this is the rectangle shape this is the slant part but it is looking like a rectangle shape from the front view now here you have a triangle shape just join this point to this point and similarly it will be here also as it is symmetrical so join this also and finally the top line here also you will have a dark line so join this and we are done with the front view now likewise we will draw the top view I will highlight the part which will be visible in the top view so this rectangular part will be visible this slant line will look straight from the top view this U shape and symmetrically this slant part will also look like a rectangle shape from the top view and this symmetrical part will be on the other side as well so to start drawing with the top view first we will take the projections downward from the front view to the top view so taking all the points projection downwards towards the top view now to start with the top view you can see this whole first we have a rectangular dark border the height of this is from the top view it is 70 millimeters we have counted so I am marking a dark line of 70 millimeter and with this we will create a rectangular box the width is already projected from the front view so I am making this dark here also dark line and joining this so from the top view the outer edge dark line will be visible this is a rectangular part then this U shape projection is already there from the top view so this line will be dark this line we have drawn same this line projection is from the front view next this slant part will be straight from the top view this U shape is also there the thickness of this given is 13 millimeter so I am marking a point 13 millimeter below taking this as the reference line drawing a dark line here and then joining this dark and this so this is the opposite U shape we have drawn which will be visible from the top view then this slant part the thickness is 13 millimeter so just this will be the dark line this is the slant part on the other side and this is the slant part which is visible in the three dimensional figure this is this a rectangle shape from the top view then again this is the bent part so there will be a dark line the distance given is 35 so I am marking a point 35 taking this as the reference line so this line will be dark will be here and it will be symmetrical so it will be here also and with this the slant part is rectangle from the top view and with this we have drawn the top view now moving towards the side view as we know we have to draw 45 degree angle line from here and we have to take all the projections from the top view towards the 45 degree angle line and from the front view towards the left side so taking all the projections from the front view towards the left side from the top view towards the 45 degree angle line and from the 45 degree angle line upwards I'll highlight the side view part so this part will be vis highlighted so this will be the side view which will be visible this part will be visible and this part will be visible so these are the only part which will be visible from the side view the slant part will be straight so we'll draw that first so it's projection from the front view and the thickness is from the top view so this height is from the front view this thickness is from the top view 
so we have taken the projections in drawing this dark join this topwards join this now this part draw straight line downwards then we have this straight line dark then we have a height of 13 projection is from the front view increasing this then we have a slant line till this edge projection it's already there just keep joining no need to take any dimensions join this and this part will be dark so this is the side view we are totally done with the figure we have to just mark all the dimensions which are given in the question so whatever dimensions are given in the question just marking them all the dimensions properly Marking the front view, this is the front view, top view and side view. And we are done. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts, any queries, let me know in the comment section. You can also connect with me on Instagram.